What's up guys, Bucky again and welcome to another awesome tutorial in R. In this video I want to teach you guys about data frames. Now data frames are actually one of the most important and one of the most widely used reasons to even start using this R language. Basically what a data frame is, is a spreadsheet. They have rows and columns and actually each column can be a different vector so you don't need to have a data frame all of numbers you can have you know numbers characters uh, text a whole bunch of stuff so actually for this example and for this tutorial what I did is I made three vectors so you can follow along so if you go to this and I'll put a link below in the description but it's uh, Bucky's room org slash forum topic ID is 661 then just go ahead and grab all of this data and copy it and then paste it right in your uh, R Studio right here. So what this is is basically three let me minimize that it's confusing me three individual vectors you have ID and I don't know maybe this is like a, uh, a database for um, a company or something so you have their ID numbers 1 through 15 15 different ages which you know some of these are like three so I doubt any three-year-old is going to be working for a company but then you have their names as well so you have three individual but equal length vectors one of them or actually two of them are numerical and one of them is character or text so how do we turn this into a spreadsheet or a data frame well it's actually really easy the first thing you want to do is you want to give your data frame a variable name I'm just going to name mine X now just go ahead and do that arrow because we're gonna pretty much make a data frame and then assign it to the variable X and to actually create this data frame type data dot frame and as parameters inside those parentheses you give it the vectors that you want to include in your data frame so of course we want to include the vectors ID age and name and now if we just go ahead and print X check it out whenever X prints it says that this right here is our data frame and as you can see it looks just like a spreadsheet in uh, you know Microsoft Excel and actually the cool thing is what we can do is if we have a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel we can import it in R and turn it right into a data frame that we can do cool you know different functions on cool calculations I'm gonna be showing you guys that later but for now this is how you create a data frame so as you can see it has rows columns pretty freaking sweet now another thing that you guys are want to be gonna want to do let me just go ahead and clear my console and go back up here another thing that we can do is sometimes we're gonna want to check to see the number of rows and columns because remember whenever you printed that out this one only has 15 rows but some data frames are going to have tons of rows and tons of columns more than we can count manually so what we're going to want to do is in order to calculate the number of rows type n row and if you throw this in there it's going to return the number of rows so our data frame has 15 rows and also the number of columns in our data frame let's see what that is is three of course ID age and name each vector is a different column so another cool thing I, I probably should teach you real quick is if you want to do this both at the same time actually let me just clear this and print all of this out if you want to do it all at the same time then you can use the function DIM and what this does is it returns the number of rows and the number of columns as well pretty freaking sweet so alright since I got a few more minutes I'll teach you a couple other things before we get into like the real um, you know confusing or hard stuff in data frames so let me go ahead and delete this right here clear my console and the next thing I want to mention is sometimes you're just going to want to return the name of a certain column so what you can do there is type names function and the first thing you need to input is what do you want to get the names of well some a column in our data frame which is X now after of course you say okay we want a column but what column well let's just go ahead and get the name of the second column which is age 
So I press 2, and basically what you're telling R is, give me the name of a column in our data frame, which column? The second one. So print that out, and that's why it gives you age. Pretty freaking sweet. And, all right, I got a few more minutes. So the last thing I can teach you guys is this. So whenever we print this out, okay, so we have 15 rows and three columns. Not that bad to see on this little console down here. But sometimes, again, with really big pieces of information, or maybe if you're importing a database from a website, you're going to have a ton of crap, of crap, maybe like 10,000 rows. So it's sometimes useful to just see the very top or just the very bottom few rows. So what we can do in that case is use the head function. Now whenever we do this, we say just show us the head or the first few rows of this data frame. And we run it and it shows us only the first six rows. You know, it just helps, uh, you know, if you have too much information, just show you a little bit of it. And also, the opposite of that is tail. Sometimes you only want to see maybe it's the most recent entries in your database. So you can run that and it shows you the last six pieces of information. So again, if you have a lot of data and you only and you don't need to see it all, maybe you only need to see the beginning or the end to verify something, you can use head or tail to see a little piece of your well spreadsheet basically. So that is your intro to data frame and guys we're going to be using data frames a ton pretty much to import data do some awesome calculations to it and we can do stuff like make graphs and charts it's going to be freaking sweet so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to grab this on my forum so i don't have to type all this crap out so again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time